is the luckiest fish catch ever. Freaking two and a half powder. Look how he ate it. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was insane, guys. Guys, I uh, I cast it up. It was about to go on the up on the bank, so I stopped it. Like you know, you click your bail over and it flies back. It pendulums back. As soon as it hit the water, this guy blew up on it. Right on the silver rock point, a little two and a half pounder. It got a bloody tail. I wonder why his tail's all bloody. That's a 16 inch fish. It's a lot of fish right there. That was so cool guys, I saw that fish come out from underneath the dock, as soon as I saw the flash right behind my bait I killed it, let him eat it, cracked him, that was so cool. y'all give you guys a give you guys a little midday up midday update here or well mid morning it's 10 20. I've caught three keepers four fish it's tougher than I was expecting um, the water's pretty muddy um, this morning I ran down I guess that'd be the east end of the lake because the lake runs pretty much east to west. I ran down to the east end of the lake. I guess, like I said, I ran down to that end of the lake this morning. It was muddy. It's, it, it's not even like muddy. It's like brown. I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's like a uh, like a diluted coffee, pretty much. It's a weird brown. I don't know how to describe it. We're gonna run over here. And look at some stuff I don't know too much offshore stuff on this lake so I don't know how much I'm gonna look out there um, but I don't know. we'll ride around and see if we can't find something if you notice guys I only got one talon back there I'm running I'm running one talon for a few days my other one 
the one that goes over here normally, the bracket's still there, just the talons taken off. Uh, the one I normally run over there, it's getting worked on, it was making some noise, and it just went out and stopped going down. It wouldn't go down at all. Uh, it clicked on the inside, so it's getting some work done to it. But um, yeah, I'm talonless. I only got one. Anyways, we're gonna run over here, run around, see if we can't find some stuff. Maybe catch some fish. Think he wanted that accent buzz bait? That's right in the roof too. I think that's a keeper. He is long and skinny. If that's a keeper, that's like the lightest keeper I've ever seen in my life. That is a keeper, dude. <sighs> well, there's number four. Ain't much, but that's number four. would be the limit. Man, they want that buzz bait. Another two pounder? That'd be the limit right there. Listen, be a little maracha band or something. There ain't no bait, there ain't no grass. That only means that there ain't no grass. I think I'd be a hit. Everybody nowadays listens to that little, or whoever he is, little crappy, little yachty, little punk. You little, if people listen to that, surely they'd listen to Tanner. There ain't no bait, there ain't no grass. I think a lot of people would listen. I don't know why they wouldn't. Except for that guy. He came off. He came off. That's a solid fish too. Probably three pounds.
that seawall. That one right there, probably three pounds. Easy. All right, guys, just got back to the humble abode. You know, had a, had a pretty good day. I, I, you know, I enjoyed the day. Um, it was tough fishing, you know. Overall, good day, you know. Normally, around 14 or so, 14 pounds wins tournaments on that lake, and I think I had right around 12 pounds. So, you know, we, we would've got a check if we were in a tournament. I'm, in the summertime, 12 pounds is like, my golden number, like I can't, I hardly can ever beat that. But you know, 12 pounds is a good bag out there. So one thing I do want to show you guys is, I made this little, uh, I made this little like makeshift pegboard. I just took a piece of plywood, nailed it up to the wall here, put these real long screws in, and I can hang up baits. And I can uh, hang up baits here, which is actually kind of cool. Um, I guess I could have just bought a pegboard. They're pretty inexpensive, but this was kind of like a DIY pegboard, and I think it's pretty cool. Eventually, I want to like line the whole wall. I think that'd be cool, or maybe line that whole wall. One of the two, that'd be cool. As you guys heard me say earlier, my talon is getting worked on. I want you back, baby. I miss you. Tomorrow, I'm going out to Geist with my buddy Tanner. It's gonna be Tanner Squared again. And uh, we're gonna try and find some fish. See if we can't, uh, like I said, find some fish and hopefully have a good day. So uh, I got to get some stuff ready, rigged up for tomorrow because we're going in his boat. So got to grab a few boxes, put them, in the, put them in the tackle bag and get ready to go in his boat. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button, thumbs up button. Uh, turn on post notifications. I'm going to crank out some videos, like I said, you know, coming out with videos as often as I can. It's not every, I don't catch them every day, so when I don't catch them, we don't have a video. <laughs> like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.